Hey everyone, this is Darren Benton with Performance Motor Coaches. We are in, a little, in our little warehouse up in Elkhart, Indiana, getting a coach ready to go back to Texas. We will drive this coach home. Uh, this is a sold XL. We've done a few XLs. I think that this is our fourth XL. We have several more that are coming down the pipeline. Unfortunately, none that are available. Um, we're working on 2025s. Uh, the 2025s will come out right about the first part of June. Uh, if anybody that wants one, we can definitely make some changes to those that are coming down the pipeline. Uh, in typical Renegade fashion, we're, we're, always in a, we're always in a rush, but kind of the way that I roll, I'm always in a rush as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the coach itself. So this is a 2024 Renegade XL. Um, for people that have never read anything or done any research on the coaches, uh, what I like about the 2024s, uh, lots of different things about them. So increased ceiling height, that's number one. Uh, that was the biggest hang up for me with the XLs in the past was the lower ceiling height. This has an additional eight inches of interior ceiling height. So like 91 inches, 92 inches, depending upon where you measure of interior ceiling height. Additionally, they elevated the front and rear caps. It has a lot of really cool stuff standard. So this has 360 cam standard. Uh, it has combined storage compartment, uh, villa, leather furniture. So a lot of stuff you get. In fact, it's pretty darn close to a classic. Now there's a lot, there's very set uh, floor plans that you will get in a uh, XL versus a classic, but um, you know, as time progresses, it's kind of becoming my preferred coach because of the look. Now, if you want to bunk over, just stop right now. If you want to bunk over, stick with classic, but let's go ahead and kind of run into itself. So this particular paint job right here is Zenith. Um, I'll go into a lot of detail. This is probably gonna be a really long video. So this is standard Zenith paint job. If you said, Darren, I love everything about this paint job, but I'm not a maroon guy. I want that to be blue or I want that to be, you know, just plain silver. We can basically deviate things beyond my imagination, beyond things, you know, for, for the customers we've had in the past that have, can't do this, can't do that, been able to get a lot of things done. Uh, now, if you want a totally custom paint job, you said, hey, Darren, I want to go and pull an RV park and I don't want anybody to have my paint job. We can get that done. So very unique things. We have a great relationship uh, with the Renegade factory. They probably don't always like me as much as as much as uh, maybe I like them, but uh, it is it, it's cool to be able to create things for people. Uh, something that wants something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to do things a little bit different on the inside, so I'm going to make some comments and you tell me what you think. Uh, I'm going to try to work better at commenting on my own video, so uh, we'll kind of jump into that. Exterior-wise, there's not too many deviations that I would really want or need. This particular customer right here was not into the stainless. So uh, this coach does have the stainless that will ship loose, will probably end up in his barn. But if a customer wanted, hey, you know, I want the stainless. So it comes factory with stainless all the way down the back compartments will come standard with uh, the chrome baggage doors. This guy said, look, I don't, I want a little bit less uh, bling for a better term. So we just did black baggage handles and we didn't do any stainless. But if he wants to put the stainless on his Camaro or his garage wall, he'll have it. He can do with it whatever he wants. Uh, we've talked about doing some black stainless, smoke stainless, and even doing maybe like a bed liner or powder coating that. I don't know if we'll do anything on this. It'll be kind of interesting. We got some customers that are coming down the pipeline that we're gonna do some of that. Uh, so we'll make sure we share all those. So 600 aqua watt standard on the Renegade XL product line all the way through the product line. So dual electric elements, uh, a little bit higher BTU. The biggest deal is the dual electric element. So if your burner basically takes a crap, you can still be able to use the unit relatively well with the dual electric elements versus the single. It's good for basically summertime use. So all line baggage compartments, Aqua Hot is all the way up here. These are combined storage compartments. So that's the big old giant box of stainless in there. Outdoor TV. The TV, basically 23 and newer, comes out, moves around. Do you see it? There's a small USB plug in there. There again, I'm gonna to try to make it standard. I think that there should be a regular 110 plug where 
I can put my phone here. I don't have to use the old school USB plug there. I can put, you know, a lightning plug or we could, uh, you know, obviously we could, you know, deviate anything after the fact, but it'd be nice just to have a regular 110 plug. We always take and put some 110 outlets within the baggage compartments, but it's nice to be able to have an additional spot. These are all automatic locking as well. They'll integrate with the side door of the coach. So up top it does, will be standard with the dual Gerard. They're a, a dual pitch on it, it comes out. You'll see the light strip underneath there. Uh, this is an option to be able to do the lights underneath the slides and underneath the coach itself. There are color changing. One thing that's very nice, Renegade started doing on the, all the XL line, uh, they do a high polish wheel. Unfortunately, a lot of our customers are doing black wheels, uh, but you know, you get a coach that's been in, in production several months, they're not super high polished. You know, they get a little bit of pitting maybe from some of the uh, inclement weather, but anything that from the factory will be high polished on the XL line. Uh, this is part of the hitch that goes in the back. It'll be a little cramped. Just wanted to get this thing pushed back right there. So it is nice to be able to have the big, what they call three quarter pass through compartment. The only floor plan that that does not, is not offered in is the 43 dB, but I'm gonna figure out a way to be able to get the aqua moved out of there, move up front, because I saw something today. So I'm pretty excited about that. It, it, it's, you know, the more time we spend with the, with the product, the deviations maybe, that we could kind of fix things, kind of change things. Uh, we'll kind of go into more detail about that. It's a great product to begin with, but there are, you know, there are a few minor little details as it is a brand new product to be able to make it a little bit better. So central back right back here, uh, you can use it to, basically your tools will work inside or outside. So you can vacuum inside or you could vacuum your apartments, even your car off to the side. Obviously this warehouse is not as big as our stuff in Texas, so it's gonna be a little bit tight. It does have uh, the standard Renegade two-piece cap. You take and jackknife a trailer, do some damage there. You can take and just replace the lower portion of that. They did a good job at uh, adding additional lights for more visibility. It will be standing with the stainless there. Uh, there again, if you said, hey, Darren, I don't, I want that black, uh, ship it loose. We could basically kind of do anything a customer might want. Additionally, we've uh, provisioned the hitch cam. Uh, because of the 360 cam, it doesn't have really good camera input for uh, trailer. And additionally, uh, a lot of people would like to be able to see right upon the hitch. The 360 cam does a decent job, but this will put it right on there. Nice thing about that, then you get a separate Garmin. We'll go inside and kind of show you that. Uh, but everything, every single XL you'll see for us will, be ha will have that camera. Now, if somebody wanted something a little bit slimmer line, we could ship that separate and then just put a really small, thinner, uh, smaller camera on the back. 30,000 pound Gen Y hitch, very convertible hitch to be able to flat tow uh, any kind of car, uh, even like a 15,000 pound tow bar will go within that. Put a bike rack, lots of convertibility within the Gen Y hitch. Standard 12.5 Onan. And of course, we've got the transfer switch. It is an option for the 50 amp plug up in the top there, the buddy plug. And then you'll see another 110 that we provision there. So a little bit of dust within the paint job. I don't know if you can see that. We've not washed it or cleaned it up. Just driving across town, got a little bit of dust on it. But it's definitely a good looking unit. What I like about it, uh, being out in Texas is your upper being white. Um, you know, in general, like if you have brush scratches, you'll see those brush scratches up higher versus lower. I'm kind of tall, I can hand wash most of my maroon. And then if I needed to brush wash the white, you don't really see the brush scratches within the coach down the side. There again, just a, just a well thought out wet base. So if I need to take and put a little water in it, which we, just water tested it earlier, put some nice clean reverse osmosis water within it. I can pull this out and I'm either gonna fill the tank or I'm gonna use city pressure. Incredibly easy, simple to operate. Suck it back in here, no issues at all. 
so very easy to use. There, you do have your sea level monitor inside the panel, so if you're hanging out outside, you need to know how much uh, waste you have, how much fresh water, boom. Right up here at the very top, be able to check out how much uh, waste or water you have on board. It does have a whole water, whole house water filter system as well. And then it does have the macerator pump. Uh, the nice thing about the macerator is if you do have an issue with it, it can easily be taken off and then you can still use the old traditional uh, stinky slinky hose. 75 gray, 75 gallon black. It does have a heat register within the wet bay and then it, you do have some 12 volt heat pads that go on the bottom of this. So we've got three of the big lithium batteries on board and the dual Victron inverters. It does have the Victron solar controller. It's all integrated together with a servo and then you do have the touch five monitor inside that's all from the factory. Chassis batteries within this bay right here. So there's three chassis batteries, group 31s, and then you do have to be able to air up your tires if you need to air up your tires. Got that guy right there. Basically anything 12 volt related from the floor down will be uh, within the uh, fuse, and, fuse and breakers there. Does have a hydraulic slide. Of course, all the hydraulic leveling as well. <clears throat> and the breaker for your hydraulic leveling is in there. 126 Cascadia. Um, I've seen this built on a uh, 116 Cascadia. We don't have a very good example here. Go to some of my other videos. We've got some pretty good examples of some the short versus the long. I do not like this product with the 116 Cascadia. I feel like it's too squatty. Uh, basically, you've got this really, it's really tall and really long, and you got this little baby, not the whole cab. The cab is the same truck to truck but you basically got 10 inches less. You kind of have this little kind of like a stub, snub nose whenever you do the 116. So I think the 126 is kind of paramount for the product because of the way everything looks. You can provision either the uh, Allison six-speed transmission or the DT12. This is the Allison within this. Our customers kind of jump back and forth kind of depending upon what they're looking for. Single 120 gallon fuel tank and then 18 gallon def tank. The XLs do have the um, leather captain seats there. They're far better than some of the units that are in the past. Um, there's some options that I, th I feel are a little bit more comfortable, but aesthetics, as I, I understand what they were going for. They wanted basically a good match to the bill of furniture. So the pedestals are basically a Sears or National pedestal, and then the upper seat's been changed. It does have heat within that seat. A little bit of options to them, but nothing quite like some like the ISRI seats. So I don't know if we can, can we get through the front? Yeah. Oh, so this is standard right here. If you love the stainless, you're still gonna get steps like this. If you ha if you said, hey, Darren, I, 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 I've gotta have these steps in, in polished. Well, if you're a polished chrome guy, I can order the coach with, uh, with these non-black and then we basically will just polish them again once they get down to the dealership. The issue uh, we've seen with these is they're relatively porous and they just they don't polish up and stay perfect for a long time so Renegade uh, right about a year ago said hey we're, we're tired of polishing these things from the manufacturer standpoint let's make them black and they really look pretty good even with the coach that has a little bit of uh, polished aluminum on board. There's the front cam you see that? You see the cam here? Front cam right there. So I would, if I was gonna kind of put a, if I was gonna score the 360 cams, I would probably put it, you know, probably 80% um, on a scale of, you know, one to 100. So it works well, but it's, it's not the same caliber of your car truck. Of course, you know, the technology, you know, for your car truck, I mean, it, you know, like I, we've got a, Ford Bronco and the Ford Bronco doesn't have nearly as good as say like the Toyota and uh, Chevrolet Tahoe so uh, kind of you know different variations with the 360 cams but a lot of people like that because it you know they have that in their cars already cars and trucks so we'll jump in uh, we'll 
we want we don't have a way to pause it so someone's gonna have to just watch me run slides but I want I'd like for people to see how much room you have in here so I'm 222 30 six foot tall so I can get in here I can move around I can kind of you know I've got no problem well, I guess I couldn't quite anyway I can still move through here you know if I had if I had stickers on my pants or something like that you know I might get into some issues if you were you know, if you were dirty um, but as far as travel it's not bad here to be able to walk in and out of the coach it's a really open feel uh, even with the slide outs in I will get all these open so this standard right here just the nightshade not the day shade so I'll kind of highlight this in fact why don't I highlight some of this while I'm actually running the slides and figure out if we can get all this done so run the slides if you want to back up there so very fast hydraulic slide in regards to that window right there so that's a 36 inch tall window monster monster massive window and then we have just a standard 24 inch right next door uh, if you do the big picture windows you cannot do them as an opening window they're again kind of preference now um, if the customer said hey I, I don't want any overheads that's some of the some of the things we could do if you want big monsters in fact in 2025 these goes these guys go from 40 I think they're 48 inches wide to 54 inches we've got uh, some XLs and some classics coming that's going to be all window and I think it's gonna be a really cool look um, I just I don't like walking into a coach and have to let see outside out there I just I like to be able to come in see straight out the window give my neighbors any kind of show that they might need to see I that's just my my preference but one one size fits all doesn't necessarily work now if you want the outside window covering that basically goes over these windows we have to come down to a 30 inch window we do have some of those that are coming. A lot of stuff to have to remember right now because people are definitely deviating. So we could go down to a 30 inch tall versus 36. There again, you could kind of do whatever you want, wherever you want. We got some stuff coming with the 30 inch over there. Can't quite do the 36, but lots of different ideas. Everybody kind of has their own idea of the perfect coach. Of course, notice that that's raised a little bit. So let's go into the decor. This is Haven Decor. <clears throat> and then within the Haven Decor, you can pick your stain. So this is Cape Cod. This is a very light stain. We've done a few of these Haven Decors so far with the Cape Cod. I just think it's a nice, bright feel. There again, you know, if you said, hey, Darren, I, I want something darker. I like something more traditional. They have basically four stains to, to choose from, but we've liked this. This is kind of, this is kind of the hot new thing, and I, I think it's going to kind of stick around for a while. And now within the Decor group, you're basically kind of forced to, this This is Cambria Quartz, so this is a quartz countertop, it's a man-made, uh, but you know, there again, within some of the de the decor groups, if you say, Darren, I don't, I don't this is Iron, Irons Bridge, um, say, Darren, I, I, I want more white, or I want, you know, there's, so there's a few different options there that are not within the decor group itself, but those are the things, some of the things we can get done, not having to basically pick within. This is the decor group, you gotta pick all these colors, we can kind of change, take and change some of this out. So there again, backsplash. If you said, hey, Darren, I, I'm not a fan of the of that backsplash. What else can you do? So there's lots of different potentials out there. And that's kind of what we've seen with most of our XL customers right now. They just want something a little bit different than the next guy. So in regards to the furniture, that is not within the decor group itself. So basically, you can pick whatever leather. So this is true leather. This is anthracite. So it's a little bit... I call it a charcoalish. Um, there again, if you're looking at pictures of this online, you'd be very, 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 very careful because this will go from a light gray to a, almost a black, depending upon on the light itself. Uh, most for the most part, the YouTube videos are relatively true to what the colors are themselves, but you can get some deviation. So this is when I'm going to kind of change into what do you guys think? What would be your suggestion? So. The CMR has a full link cabinet here that kind of isolates the entry. There again, kind of matter of preference. What I like about this, the XL, the DBM, 
is a little bit more storage here and then being able to see that nice and open the electrical moves back here so essentially your pantry is right here you know my concern is okay you know some people might want to use that strictly as a pantry well where do i put my pots and pans where do i put my big monstrous pots and pans and i can you know i can't put anything any kind of big broiler pot in any of this now maybe there maybe there but so i propose either doing a pantry similar to that right within this or doing a large like two drawers so basically it's like hey Dan, we're gonna do one big drawer right here so i can put big pots and pans within that if we did that we would probably do another uh, glide set just for the additional weight one thing that um, you won't see pretty much from here on out with me is we're gonna dump what we call the AV cabinet. Everybody's doing Starlink, everyone's streaming things. We don't really need a place for our satellite receivers anymore. And for that part, let's get the satellite receiver up there. So there's things that we could take and kind of change and deviate. Um, Renegade's not a big fan of running HDMI cords in and out, but we're fine, 90% of our customers aren't utilizing the satellite. So if I can bring this back to you and give you additional storage, What's your preference? Another drawer, another drawer, a big drawer, or I guess big drawer here, or would you want something big cabinet that opens up to be able to take and do all the drawers? And I guess the other, that kind of the fourth option would say, hey, cabinet with convertible shelves to be able to adjust back and forth. But I just don't feel like this is the most effective use of the, of the kitchen itself because drawers seem to turn into junk drawers. And I can't imagine potentially having six drunk junk drawers in here just because I don't feel like you can put enough stuff within the drawers. I think I think things, things, things need to get a little bit bigger. So make sure you guys comment. I'm really curious to know uh, because, you know, I kind of got them on board to make some changes. I just don't know what the perfect scenario is to be able to get people more storage. So... This kind of leads us into the next, what would you do? So the way I've always built my classics, I don't like sink covers. I don't, I don't like to have to store things. You know, it's, it goes back to, okay, Darren, we're cooking. What do we do with these things now? Do we juggle them? You know, I guess we could put them in a drawer, but why take a drawer that you want to put something in and put something maybe you don't want in? Some manufacturers will do you know, like a space to be able to slide these in, but it's just, I don't pick particularly care for it. So my proposal is to bring the counter, the cooktop all the way up and, and not have to contend with these at all. Um, aesthetically, some people might not like it, um, but I just don't, I don't want to have to contend with another lip there. You know, something boils over, you know, a lip, lip, lip. It's just more to have to clean, maintain. <clears throat> and another thing, it's a little bit better like let's have the sink guys talk to the cooktop guys so that way maybe you just do one if you did that well i mean that, that's, that's not the so this kind of works here but let's make it where if you did want that i can take this piece and move it over there or there or there so i didn't have all these pieces parts to deal with a lot of people are liking these sinks these sinks but there again you got more stuff. Where do you put all this stuff? Nice to be able to, you know, I guess, uh, dry my strawberries within this, but then what do I do with it whenever I'm not using it? I would probably take it out and leave it out. Would, would you take it out and leave it out? Yeah, I would, I would leave it. She likes strawberries. So, won't win on that particular argument right there, but um, obviously some things to kind of consider uh, as people you know, these, these coaches are not getting any cheaper. And I want people to be able to get what they want. And we've had some people voice their opinion on, hey, you know, Darren, I, I don't want to have to worry about that. Let's just get the countertop, uh, the cooktop up. <clears throat> so there again, kind of preference. So one thing I noticed uh, walking through the very first one of these was the absence of this plug right there. Renegade uh, answered with basically no issues of like, hey, we're going to add that plug there. So to me, in my opinion, I'm putting my coffee maker right here, and I don't want to have to 
run a cord over here, down up there, anything like that. I want to be able to kind of keep things nice and neat. There again, if you had, if you have your prize waffle maker or maybe your your mixer, put it right there. So that's that's a cool part. I, I feel like, um, you know, kind of as the product has progressed and, and evolved as the 2024 model, they've been very good at listening on, hey, let's let's do this, let's do that. So if people need anything, want anything, and your Joe Schmo dealer down the road is not very open to doing anything, call me. I'll, I'll rattle the cages. I will be happy to kind of make things uh, change as as people's needs and wants change. So anyway, Televator there. Um, I don't think we'll kind of do much, too much deviation in the XL line. I think that I think the, the Televator is suiting of this particular line. Uh, one thing I did not realize, this particular couch right here does not flip over at all. I thought it went down flat, which I didn't think was a big deal because unless you're a six-year-old you really can't sit or sleep on that couch so this does not flip over this does not jackknife whatsoever we'll see if that changes in time now d we have had customers order this with various like hey darren i don't want the couch i want you to do a cabinet here now that's not something i can get done from renegade but something i can get done basically in-house of hey we i think our next one we're putting a big dog crate there we wanted the cabinets to match to a t customer did not want any kind of a solid surface on the top they wanted uh like some mesh to, for, the, for the heat to radiate out but i'm uh, pretty excited about that so we'll we'll try to bring that right after the first of the month um there again gotta think about things so if we put the dog crate here that can't be in place so there's there's some timing there is some some uh some some thought to be able to do but uh, for somebody that wants to do you know semi-custom coach we can definitely take it make some changes and deviations for them. So back over here, really won't get in the cab, but we, we've done a few drive alongs. So back over here, uh, this is an option to be able to do the theater seats. So it is all Villa. <clears throat> and you have a plug there. And you do have a little storage there. Now if a person wanted to flip over couch to be able to accommodate, um, Somebody sleeping there, we could do a flip out couch there, and then we could order it with, say, a little storage ottoman to be able to kick your feet up on. <coughs> now, the dinette is not convertible because of the quartz is a little bit heavier. Um, the flooring in this is Durban White. Durban White. They're going to deviate this a little bit. Uh, you really won't be able to tell, but it will be changing slightly. <coughs> So this is one thing that I've just not been a big fan of. Uh, that 43 dB, the very first 43 dB we drove back, had this right back behind the driver. And Sean Lee got up to do whatever, and then the refrigerator lights up, and you, I feel like you have this big light right back behind you. Certainly there's probably a way to be able to turn all that off, but it's just a, it's a little over the top for me, but that's what will become standard in these <clears throat> Another thing, the, the, the locks, eh, they can't use the same type lock that they normally, if I don't get this loose, you won't be able to get your ice cream in there. Um, so it's just, you know, it's a lot. Uh, it just, just, it's just not my preference. Uh, now, I guess the kind of the unique thing about this is you have glass panels, and so you could, I believe, uh, when I saw online, you could put yellow on the front. You could do whatever the heck you might want, be able to order the inserts and change the look of that. But you're still going to, you know, the, the overall design really won't change. So there again, just a matter of preference. I'll get this dude closed up right here. So your electrical moves down here versus the CMR would be right there. And then we generally put the Starlink right up there. We'll put like a power strip and then we do the Starlink there. We'll extend this slide right here. Not that you can really tell any difference. They did a lot bigger screen for the XL line. And they're actually using the Mira um, versus the, well, I kind of blanked out on me, but there's really no, to me, there's really no deviation to it. Uh, this is, uh, Bluetooth, it does have the wireless capability as well. 
we've had some issues with some connectivity problems with that. We've not actually linked into one of these yet, but we'll try to get that done as we, you know, doing more and more Starlink. So one thing, let's back up just a little bit. So one thing that's a little bit different, if anybody has seen the classic, um, it's a little bit, I guess the CMR classic, there's a little bit more room here. So basically, because you have a fiberglass rear cap on the XL, you don't have it on the Classic. They had to take some room somewhere. They took it out of here, so it changes this bathroom. So instead of a longer bathroom, it's a little bit wider bathroom. And whenever that happens, it gets a little bit tighter in here. Like I said, I can obviously get in here. I can get to whatever I need. But if anybody was a little bit bigger, they might kind of consider that as you're doing laundry. There again, I can kind of still get to some of this, but this will not open too wide. So, I mean, if you're a 350 pound ball player, it might get a little tight in here. Just kind of, kind of wanted to note that. Come in the half bath up front here. So like I said, a little bit, a little bit further this way right here, but plenty of room. A little bit more storage. I would definitely say more storage in the XL than the, than the, uh, CMR. They do a little bit, they do it like a, like a contrasting tile in both baths versus what you would get in your backsplash. Come back here to the master. So the first thing I want you to kind of notice is your, in fact, I'm just going to get over here so you can kind of get a rough idea. So, um, 66 inch wide bed is standard. If you want to do a 72, which we have some customers that are coming 72, come back over, come back over. So, so you can see basically if we lose three inches out of here, it'll get a little tight. Now the CMR it would be much tighter around the bed. So you, you lose, a, you, you get rid of a fair amount of room around the edge of the bed in the CMR. Um, so it wouldn't be bad. Now, uh, if we're gonna do that, We've got one that's coming that we did the 72. We're going to take and we move the electrical plugs to right here. So hopefully we'll be able to get them within this. We'll take and cut this down a little bit. We're trying to come up with the best way to be able to do a 72 inch wide bed and still have some type of accommodation for a phone, a charger and such. There again, if you have some ideas on, hey, you know, Darren, I would, you know, I'm willing to get rid of this altogether, put my phone on the bed. I just don't like that. I'm Think about getting this, you know, shortened up a little bit and to the bottom of the window. So the mattress will go underneath there. So it'd be a little bit bigger pain to make the bed. Um, but having the 72 inch wide, I think will be so we're, some people's preference. And then I really, if you do the 72 standard from Renegade, I actually put the plug underneath the bed, like right here. If you see, they put the plug right down here and I just don't wanna, I just don't like stuff kind of hanging around, so. Let me know kind of what you guys think there. So we've noticed that this has continually changed a little bit. Um, they went from just this small little latch lock right here to that latch, to that latch, now a upper latch. And I think basically what happens on extremely rough roads, this is this has kind of jumped around a little bit and some of these have opened. And you can obviously tell if, you know, if you're going crazy, things can, uh, and I, I saw uh, whenever Renegade first came out with this, I did see one that was demolished uh, that got torn up pretty bad. So I think they continue to make some changes here so it doesn't happen. But it's nice to be able to have that, uh, to be able to open up. I'm hoping for maybe uh, an option for some drawers right there. Uh, there again, you know, most people's, uh, wardrobes are not such that they're wearing pressed clothes. So if they kind of went over the top of the drawers, I'd like to have two drawers right there. So another thing, AV. To me, AV stuff is kind of dead. So you have your um, your sound bar there. Really don't need all that space for your Atari, for your Nintendo, um, for everything within that. So um, we've got some coaches that are coming. We just did a regular storage cabinet without any um, you know, the AV stuff will be, will be back there if a person needed to change it, but uh, aesthetically it will kind of look the same all the way down without the cabinets, or not the cabinets, but the, what's the word I'm thinking of? Shelves. Won't be any shelving within that. 
So fresh water on board, two 75 gallon water tanks below the bed itself. You'll see here, um, you know, be able to access a little bit. So like you have an access right there to be able to get to your drain. So I'm gonna come back here and have a plop down and have a little seat here. So you can see basically what they've done. They've taken the kitchen backsplash there and then they've done the bath backsplash on the floor itself. We've had some guys that say, I can't deal with this or, hey, I want a solid surface floor there again. Those are some of the things we can do. We can build this coach with just a regular solid surface floor instead of doing the inserts, lots of different ideas there. <clears throat> Uh, we've even gone as far as i think we've got one coach that the customer didn't want anything so we basically just did a classic shower without any kind of inserts whatsoever another thing that they're going to change they're going to do additional tier on this um, on this shower caddy imagine how much conditioner and body wash we can get in here with one more level just, just one more level all the way body Body, body soap, conditioner, dog shampoo, everything. And then I mean, we can hang everything with, I mean, so it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's coming. Three-tiered caddy, shower caddy. So plop this up. Now, because I guess you could come back to uh, kind of my big mouth, I've had a few customers say either that's a little too fancy for me or, hey, we boondock a lot, you know, and I don't want to have my primary showering as such if you don't like this and you want a regular shower head i can put a regular shower head in there not after the fact because you have a whole bunch of holes to contend with but if you said hey i'm more vanilla i just want a regular shower we could take and do that there again if somebody likes this but boondocking periodically want we'll to be able to get a little bit more close and personal with the shower that's what it'll come with up with right there but you do have basically shower heads are Got your shower head there that will put out a fair amount of water, and then you got your upper and lower body sprays. And then this guy just basically you you can click within four different selections there. Click, click, click. So kind of the way that that runs. I'm gonna come over here. Decent storage within the master bath. Nice little spot for the paper, toilet paper holder. I've noticed that most women like the larger mirror, so I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna talk any trash on the big giant mirror or the lack of storage. So preference, whatever your preference might be, but really, really nice layout. You know, the, the Haven decor is, and the Cape Cod, those are, they kind of just came together within uh, the XL line. And, you know, we've got some others that are are gonna be different colors, but if I'm gonna order the coach for, for stock, I just, I, I I like the lightness of it, and I think it's probably a little bit easier to sell if you're trying to sell your wife on a brand new coach. You can probably sell them a little bit easier on a lighter, you know, lighter toned interior versus darker tone. So if you need a little bit of assistance in getting your wife on board, I would probably start with this particular uh, decor group and color group altogether because everything is relatively light. So lots of information that I I'm not going to use that term. I'm not going to use that term. But a, lot, a lot of information I've thrown out within this. Uh, I really want to hear. I really want to know about the kitchen. I want to know what's your ideal kitchen. You probably We probably won't see eye to eye in regards to the to the cooktop, whether it's recessed or whether it's flush, you know, say la vie, whatever on that. But I think that there is a better way to take and do the kitchen cabinet. So let me know what you guys think. Comment. Send me a text, smoke signal, email, whatever you might want to do. I really want to know what the premier kitchen is as far as storage because um, I feel like there's a lot there's a lot of strong opinions out there to kind of figure out what's the best. So uh, technical information, I'm certain there's some technical information that I have not thrown in here. We'll try to see if we can't do a little ride along whenever we're headed back to Texas tomorrow afternoon. But love the way everything turned out. Um, you know, love that I was able to show you guys a unit without stainless, without the uh, chrome baggage handle. So lots of different ideas there for you to be able to build your own coach, build the perfect coach to kind of however you do see fit. So 
Uh, appreciate you guys always watching the video. Um, appreciate the input as well. Uh, we've sold a lot of the XLs from these videos. Uh, so if you're have if I've intrigued your interest a little bit, make sure you guys subscribe to our channel and go look at some of the other XL videos that we've done. Um, we're very hands-on. I feel like we're much different than any other dealership in the country. Here it is, Valentine's, and I have my Valentine making making me making, making her follow me around for a video uh, instead of taking her out out of the town. But uh, it's a great combination. Uh, I love what you do for me. Happy Valentine's Day, Shawnee. Love the guys back at the dealership as well. Um, don't hesitate to give us a shout. Uh, it's pmcrv.com, performancemotorcoaches.com as well. Come out and see us in Wolforth, America, or feel free to come up and give us a shout over the summertime. We will be here most of the summer enjoying the mild weather up here. Be happy to do a factory tour and so you guys can kind of see all the nuts and bolts of these coaches. And if I do have a coach, come out and drive one. You know, come out and test drive one before it heads back to Texas. Make sure you guys keep on coming back. Like, tag, and subscribe.